So here behind me you see my 2021 BMW 550i. This car goes for $105,000. This is my most expensive car. Now next to me is my 2003 Volkswagen Jetta GLI Turbo. This car only costs $9,000 and this is my most cheapest car. Which probably got some of you guys right there. So that's probably the first reason why some of you guys haven't passed a mill or just can't get past your money goal entirely. You have to limit yourself on the amount you spend on your cars. Now I have about 23 cars. Some of them are expensive, but none of them are 400k by themselves like one car is not 400,000 as you heard my most expensive car was a BMW 550i so now I'm going to show my garage and show why I got this amount of money okay so as you come in my garage you can see on the top here I have the swag wagon I'm not selling it because I like to collect limited time cars I don't care if it takes up garage space it's fine Next, I have my Jeep Grand Cherokee, I meant Wrangler 392. It has a scat pack motor in it. Um, I forgot how much this costs. Next is the big boy, the 2021 Bullhorn Prancer, 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. This only costs 80,500 or something like that, and you get crazy performance. So that's why I bought this. I also like the Challenger Red Eye, so I bought this. This was $78,000. So. You know, it's all about value for money in my garage, technically, or just cars I like. Now, this is my most expensive car, my BMW 550i. It's 105 grand. Next, behind that for most expensive is my 2020 BMW X5 50i. This cost, you know, 103 grand. So, next, my Sergo. I forgot how much that cost. That was like 40,000. But this is where my garage gets cheaper, and this is why I have so much money. The rest of this is basically cheap cars. This was like 20 grand on the dot, or 25 grand. This was not too far behind. It was like 15 grand or 16. I don't remember. This was only 13,000. This was like, I don't know, cheap as well. RX-8 cost nothing. This cost nothing, around 20 grand. The Viper was like, you know, my little fun sports car. This is like 40, 50 grand. Basically, you get the point. I don't buy expensive cars at all. Now, you know, the top part of my garage, of course, is expensive. You know, that's like 500K. But like, basically, I spent around 500 or 600K on like six different cars. That's people's first mistake. They go out and buy their Aventador SVs, their, you know, cars like that, their McLarens, etc. And, you know, instead of spending that much on one car, I like to spend it on multiple vehicles. Now, this is just guesstimates, but like, I think my garage is only worth 800,000 and I have like over 18 cars. So, you know, that's basically my garage. Now, people still gonna question, how do I have this much cash? Good question, so we're gonna hop on the road in a different car and I'm gonna explain all of it. Alrighty, so the reason I made this video is because people asked how do I get money and the thing I was saying was that I played Greenville for a while, I just didn't wanna be straight out rude, so now I can put it in a video so now people can watch and hear what I really wanted to say in the comments but it's in a less root of a way because it's not targeted to anyone well it kind of is but you get the point all right so how did i get 5.7 million good question one of course i played greenville for a couple years now but this next one is the most helpful one i could say so say you buy a expensive supercar let's say aventador svj Okay, so right away, as soon as you buy it, you lost money. As soon as I bought this, I lost money. As soon as I bought any of my other cars, I basically lost a little bit of money. So basically, what I did, right, I'm going to use my Roadster now because um, that's what I did. 
So when I bought my Tesla Roadster, I was at little money. I was at like, you know, 23,000. And when I went to sell it, I was at 1.6 million. And basically, I just earned my money back, which is what you should do. So as soon as you make a big purchase on Greenville, basically grind all your money back. Now, if you want to see how much you will get back when you sell the car on Greenville, basically do the amount of money that you bought the car for minus 87% on your calculator. And that will give you the amount that you'll get back when you sell the car. Now, this works for every car and every car in Greenville sells for 87% of the original price. So basically, once you get the result of how much you'll get back when you sell it, you basically want to grind back the extra cash that you lost when you bought that vehicle. That's why when I went to sell my Roadster, I actually ended up with more money. As you remember, the Tesla Roadster was $5 million. I bought it when I was at $5.2 million. And you know, I only had like six other cars with that Roadster. Now, if you look, I have like a bunch of cars with 5.7 million. So that explains it. I have 700K now with all these cars, 700K more over 5 mil. Basically, grind all your money back and you will be good. That's what I did with the roaster. That's why I kept it so long. That's why I have endless clips of me flinging journeys and barbs in my server because I grinded with it for a entire week. Doesn't matter how long you play a day, just grind your money back and yeah. So I basically grinded 1.6 million back um, after buying that because you do lose like a lot of money when you buy the $5 million roadster. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is probably the most hardest thing for any Greenville player, even me, myself. It's actually try to go a week without buying any cars, which also adds on to my Roadster. I did not buy any cars that entire week when I was driving my Roadster. It was a very hard challenge, but I pushed through it. And now I ended up with more money. I'm close to six million with, you know, 20 cars and you know it all worked out now i have more money i'm no longer at 4.3 million with 20 cars i'm at 5.7 million with 20 cars so i basically gained over an extra million just because i drove the expensive car that i grinded for and didn't buy any more when i was grinding with it so i ended up with more money now the reason you don't want to buy cars when you're trying to get to your certain money goal is because you know you're losing money of course and even if you go to sell it you still lost money so that puts you even further away from your goal and on greenville you only make 700 a minute or you know the paycheck every five minutes and that's only like you know two grand right so you know you just have to be careful with what you buy. I mean, you could buy cars. I'll probably keep it on the cheaper side so you can grind it back within like, you know, 10 minutes, like nothing too crazy. And that'll basically help you out as a whole. Just don't buy cars. Like I've basically established my car collection now. Um, I have this Jeep. I love this thing. I'm not selling it. Charger Red Eye. I had it since the last Greenville update. So it's basically been a month that I had this same with this car i had it for an entire month i bought this around two weeks before the gv update and i still have it after the update i bought this yesterday because this was a new trim for the x5 and i'm not selling it i have a great color on it Sergal, i heard it was going on sale so i just kept my circle and as you see it's still here so i had this one for a whopping four months i had the circle for four months now it's crazy that i could say this but this is the longest i owned a car on greenville four months it's my golf r i had this for around two months because i keep buying and selling it but you know i always kept a golf r um jetta right here i had this for i want to say a month you basically see my cars are kept for like a month or more i bought this yesterday it was a part of the update this I had for, it's getting close to a month that I had this, not gonna lie. 
RX-8 was the, you know, previous update, um, you know, a month, well, no, not a month, a few days, my Tahoe right here, I had this for a month, I had it since the last GV update dropped, I sold it and bought it back, so I still had it since the update dropped, the Viper, I had this for over a month now, well, I capped again around two weeks because I sold it and got another one, Charger, I had this since the GV update, from a month ago never sold it um jetta which i'm not gonna show you guys because i don't want to get my combo stolen it's the most unique combo on this jetta right now and i'm not gonna showcase it and this jetta gli right here um you know i just bought it yesterday to try something this golf is of course new so i bought it on update day never sold it this jetta g l i i've kept this car for so long i'm pretty sure i had this car since around january i have not sold the car the only thing i've changed on it was the plate and now the plate of course is 03 jet if you know this car if you're an og you know before custom plates came out the plate was old 180 so you know i just changed the plate but other than that it's the same jetta that i had for months so as you see, I do not have like a totally new car collection. I don't change my car collection very too often. Every once in a while I buy a new car, but all the cars I have right now are the main ones that I drive. I don't buy cars often. And which means when I go into RP servers, I'm just making more and more money. So like most RP servers I play in for, you know, an hour. So that's like 50,000. Then another hour that would be a hundred thousand. So basically, I make bank every day. Like I play in RP servers a lot, so I'm always making some cash, some way, somehow. If that's either selling cars or doing something else. Now, if I was to sell my X5 right now, I would be close to six mil. So you know, sell the cars you don't drive. Also, don't just let them sit because I tend to drive every car every once in a while speaking of rp servers now the craziest way and quickest way to make money is to just role play when you're role playing you will not be paying attention to your cash therefore you will just see that you have a much more money than before than you remember because like you're going to be focused on driving and not really watching your cash you're going to be thinking about your cash too much if you're just in a private server just grinding now some people aren't that way but that's kind of how it is. You join your private server to get cash and not, you know, to roleplay. Now, if you join an RP server, then, you know, you can, you can, yeah, you can have fun. Now, there are some RP servers that I would recommend, and I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying this, but, um, hey, let's switch over to Discord and I'll show you. Okay, so you will see that I'm in a bunch of servers and some are RP servers here, so you know don't freak out but rp servers that i would recommend are og vrp if you want like a more strict and serious rp now if you're a fast guy and you like to speed and stuff and you won't really get in trouble for it you can do your little pools and stuff you won't really get in trouble as much gvrpa is good for that i like to speed a lot and i do speed in gvrpa i'm not gonna cap to you sometimes i even go into you know frp speeds and then i slow down i just like to have a bunch of fun in there now gv rpj i have bve in there so i could drive basically anything but i don't have any crazy cars um craziest one is probably my charger that's a pretty good server they fill up very fast um not bad gv rp s yeah i forgot i was in the server i don't really play in here so i don't know how it is GVS, um, you know, if you like bad drivers and FRP and you just like to drive crazy, come in here, I guess. GVRP Code, this is one of the better third party servers I've been in. It's owned by um, Jolly B and Ari Berry, their sisters. They have YouTube channels. Um, you've probably seen them before. Um, yeah, this is a server I play in quite often because their servers fill up and the drivers are good too and you know They're third party so everyone's not spamming a button to get in 
server's not bad at all. So I would recommend that one if you would like. And then the rest are just fan servers that I'm in. Um, but yeah, those RP servers I play in, the ones I play in the most is probably GVRPA and GVRP Co. These are two I play in because like they're just chill. There's not too much players in them. And you know, every once in a while you might see FRP, but it's nothing crazy. So let's switch back to Greenville. Okay, so let's review what I went through in today's video. Number one, keep your vehicle prices down. Don't go crazy with the prices. If you want to spend 500K on vehicles, buy 500K in multiple vehicles. Don't spend it on that one Lamborghini. Don't spend it on that one McLaren. Don't even spend money on hypercars in my opinion. Those aren't worth it. I'd rather spend 1.6 million to do a full 24 car garage instead of spending it on one car and having like two other cars. That's like a waste. Another thing, um, you know, playing RP servers, you won't notice your money as much and you'll basically, yeah, you'll get money fast and you won't even notice because time's just flying by. Um, it's crazy. Next. Do not sell cars often, aka get cars that you'll keep for a while. Me, I have, I showed my car garage, basically. I kept my cars for weeks and even some were months and I still have them and I still drive them to this day, which is a bit crazy. So yeah, just stay up on that. Don't buy often, keep cars that you know you wanna keep. I'm keeping this Impala SS for now. Hopefully the turning and stuff gets fixed, but I'll keep it until then. Um, and yeah, that'll basically be it for today's video. If this video helped, leave the comment. And yeah, this has been Vuxery, and I am out.